We continue to look at question 8 from the May 2024 CSET Mathematics Fast Paper. Here, we are at part B. It says the graph below shows a quadratic function. So we have a quadratic function here. On the grid above, draw the tangent to the curve at x equals 1. Okay. So, here now. <coughs> Where is that? X is 1 here. I'm going to draw the tangent to the curve right here. Alright, so I'm going to need a ruler. So, here we want to locate it at x equals 1. equal one so we should tilt the ruler so that we touch the curve right at x equal one all right put it just a little more touch the curve it must not cut across the curve it must touch it at x equal one and then we draw our tangent line right at that point what's going on where is our tangent line I want to draw my tangent line tangent line here and draw I have my tangent line there all right well I've gone off the graph a bit but that's what they want us to do then they say use the tangent drawn to estimate the gradient of the curve at x equal 1 that means you're going to want to um, get the equation of the tangent well the gradient just the gradient now what we can do here is look at two points where the tangent meet the where Two points on the tangent, I mean. Let me see something. This looks like... Alright, this is... Let's see something here. All the way out here is 1. So from here to here is half. If we consider this as 5 small squares, 10, 15, 20. This one covers 20 of these tiny little squares here right these little squares one two three four five five of them for each centimeter no um each small square therefore means one out of twenty which is zero point zero five so each small square is zero point zero five so where does this cut the x-axis? The coordinates here are x is uh, you have five small squares, six, seven. Look like about seven small squares. So at this point, it's seven times your point zero five, which is so that's 7 times 0 0.05, which is what? 0 0.35. 0 0.05 times 7 is what? 0 0.35. So it's 0 0.350. X is 0 0.35 and Y is 0 at this point. Because what, what I want to do is locate two points on the line. Alright? 
and use those two points to get the gradient. You could use your ruler and try the rise over run. But let's look at calculating the gradient here. Let's look at this point here. Now, <coughs> this point would be what? It's over here. This would be 1. So, this would be 1 plus how many small squares? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 small squares. So it's plus 9 times 0 0.05. 9 of the 0 0.05 squared. So 9 point, point zero 0.05 times 9 is what? 0.45 plus 1. So this is where x is 1.45 comma y is 5. So if we want the gradient now, we could use gradient equal y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 if we consider this as point 0.1 this would be x1 y1 if we consider this as point 0.2 it would be x2 y2 so we can see that x1 is 0 0.35 x2 is 1.45 Let's get the ruler out of the way. We have y1 is 0, uh, y2 is 5. So the gradient now, we can calculate that as y2, which is 5, minus y1, which is 0. Oh, that would be the rise, all right? And you can see the rise here over the run, how much it runs from here to here now. Over x2, which is 1.45, minus x1, which is 0 0.35. So, using a calculator, 1.45 minus 0.35 gives us 1.1. So it's 5 over 1.1. So 5 over 1.1 is 4.55 about that. Equal 4.55 about that. All right? Now, as I said, if you wanted, you could use your ruler and do the y over run. The rise over run. You could say how long this is from where this point is to where it lines up with here. Right? Now, looking at it, it's probably what? Let's not zoom. I wanted to zoom in. Um, to see where that is, but just an estimate. Look like about six point five. That's a run. The rise would be what? If you use your ruler and do it, the rise would be well five. It's five. It's five. Okay. Oh. It so what we have is five oh different scale you can't just measure you can't just measure you wouldn't be able to you just use your ruler and measure you'd have to estimate the units if it had x and y axis the same units then that would be a different case yeah just realize so what you'd have to do is use two points Right, from here to here, one point something is a different scale because on the x axis to get one, you have to go all the way out here, you have to cover one, two, three, four. So, on the x axis, you have 
four centimeter for one unit. On the y-axis, you have only one centimeter for one unit, right? So, if we should say five over six point five, you would get five over six point five is point seven seven, right? Which would be incorrect. <coughs> so here now, what we have one point three something. No, zero point three something. Zero point three five. Zero is here. That's this point. You get the coordinates, right? Point three five zero. You get the coordinates of here which is the coordinate would be 1.455 then you use the rise over on using the y2 minus 1 over x2 minus x1 5 minus 0 over 1.45 minus 0.35 right when you do that you get 4 point something so you you wouldn't be able to just use the rule of measure unless you have the same scale on both axes um, well look like that is that what else do they say we are to do oh here they say write down the equation of the tangent in the form y equal mx plus c okay so here we have the gradient of 4.55 so what we have is y equal 4.55x plus c but we want c the y intercept right all right to get c you know we would have to draw the gradient down some more we'd have to extend the gradient so let's line up and see if we can extend it a bit more so here now we draw it down I keep jumping up and down like this. Alright, so where does it cut? Where does it cut the x axis? Oh, mistake. Let me put this back here. Yeah, where does it cut the, the y axis? I mean, not the x axis. Um. It's somewhere here, you know. <clears throat> somewhere in that region. It looks like it's very close to negative 2. It's negative 1 point something. <clears throat> right? Um, it looks like the last small square. It cut. So, let's look at this. On the, x, on the y axis. You have one centimeter for one unit. Each centimeter into, is divided into one, two, three, four, five small squares. One fifth, that is 0 0.2. So, this is a full two, but we have to go back, take 0 0.2 off, and look at negative 1.8. So, it looks like about negative 1.8. So, what we can say <coughs> is the equation is y equals 4.8. 55x minus 1.8.